Colin Kaepernick was born on November 3, 1987 in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. His mother, Heidi, was just 19 at the time and could only raise him for a few weeks until he was adopted. Colin also did not have a father figure because his dad fled when he was little. Rick and Teresa Kaepernick adopted him. Kyle and Devin Kaepernick were Colin's new siblings. Colin's family moved to Turlock, California when he was four years old. He started playing football at the age of eight when he was accepted into a youth football league as a defensive end and punter. He was very athletic at a young age, especially good at football. A year later, he became the Pee Wee team's quarterback, and on his very first pass as a quarterback for the Pee Wee team, he threw a touchdown. He went to Pittman High School, still being a multi-sport athlete. He was on his high school baseball team as a pitcher who could throw 94-mile-an-hour fastballs. He was playing football, baseball, and basketball throughout his high school career. In basketball, he was leading his team to a high school state championship playoff. Even though he achieved most of his high school accomplishments in baseball, Colin wanted to play football in college. Throughout his life, his favorite sport was always football, which is why he ended up earning a scholarship at the University of Nevada for football. He quickly became Nevada's starting quarterback during his freshman season. He was later named the Western Athletic Conference Player of the Year twice in 2008 and 2010. To this day, he remains the only quarterback in college football history to pass for more than 10,000 yards and rush for more than 4,000 yards in his career. For his efforts, he was inducted into the Wolfpack Hall of Fame. Colin Kaepernick was drafted in 2011 by the San Francisco 49ers. Colin was the backup quarterback behind Alex Smith for his first season. The following year, Alex Smith got a concussion, so it was Colin's time to shine. Like in college, he seemed to amaze fans and coaches as he played phenomenally. In the offseason, the 49ers coach Jim Harbaugh named Colin their permanent starting quarterback. The decision was very controversial as Alex Smith was one of the NFL's better quarterbacks. In the following season, Colin shut out the noise as he was getting wins and becoming more of a celebrity. The 49ers finished with an 11-4-1 season. In Colin's very first start in the postseason, he faced a very good Packers team led by star quarterback Aaron Rodgers. Though it was a very tough matchup, Colin showed out and played amazingly. He set an NFL single game rushing record for a quarterback rushing for 181 yards. In the next game, Colin played the Atlanta Falcons in the NFC Championship and beat them fairly easily. That win meant that they were heading to the Super Bowl, which was the biggest game of the season. They were up against a very up-to-the-mark Baltimore Ravens in the New Orleans Superdome. In Colin Kaepernick's first season starting, he led the 49ers to the Super Bowl for the first time in 18 years. Even though Colin had an incredible performance, throwing for 302 yards and rushing for 62 yards, they lost to the Baltimore Ravens 34-31. to The next season, many people thought that the San Francisco 49ers would be in the Super Bowl again when they finished with a record of 12 wins and just 5 losses. They ended up falling one game short after losing to the Seattle Seahawks in the NFC Championship. By this time, Colin had proven he is a star. He kept playing amazingly in the following season, throwing for 3,000 yards and rushing for 600. Though they finished with a mediocre record of 8 wins and 8 losses and failed to make the playoffs. At the end of the 2014 season, the San Francisco 49ers' Jim Harbaugh ended up leaving the team. And while Jim Harbaugh was the coach, the former defensive lineman coach, Jim Tom Sula, became the new head coach. It was not until the beginning of the 2016 season where Colin Kaepernick showed his true colors. It was a preseason game in late August where in the national anthem, Colin made history and refused to stand during the national anthem. Later in the post-game interview, Colin said on the topic of his knee that he is not going to show pride in a flag for a country that oppresses black people and people of color. He ended up drawing attention from other NFL players, politicians, and celebrities. On the field, he was still playing very well, throwing for 16 touchdowns with only four interceptions. He was also rushing for 468 yards with a solid performance. The team was only 1-10 in 10 during the games he started, so later the staff saw no reason to keep him and let him go. At the beginning of the 2017 season, Colin had still not found a team that was interested in him. Though what had started as a quiet protest had now turned into something much larger. Now several NFL players from every team were supporting Colin by taking a knee. The protest from Colin had spread into other sports with stalker star Megan Rapino supporting Colin. The issue had become such a political topic that President Donald Trump had to get involved. In a rally in Alabama, stated that any NFL player would be fired if they knelt during the national anthem. Colin got another chance in 2022 when the Oakland Raiders wanted him as a backup quarterback to their quarterback Derek Carr. 
Even though the situation was promising, they never set it on a deal. Cohen ended up getting one last chance at the New York Jets in September 2023 after star Jets quarterback Aaron Rodgers suffered a season-ending injury. Khan wrote a letter to the Jets saying he would be happy to lead their practice squad and get the defense ready. Later that day, the Jets went in a different direction, signing Trevor Simeon. To this day, he remains with an NFL team, but no one will ever forget his act of protest and standing up for his beliefs about police brutality and racism.